hey we are back out here at the golf cart doing a few more upgrades and installs that we need to do and the focus of today's video is going to be seat belts uh it definitely needs the seat belts i mean we, we're not a fast cart or none yet but uh you still want these safety especially for the people in the back seat um uh, so a company reached out to us called 10 lol and they sent us the the seat belt kit and a couple other accessories which you'll see in future videos so make sure you hit that like button and stuff like that and the bell so you know when we post those videos but they reached out to us and said they had a nice set of uh, seat belts so they sent that to us and that's what we're working on today uh you might have seen 10 lol lol company if you've ever searched for any kind of golf cart part or accessory because they come up every time you do it, especially on amazon because that's where they mainly sell out of so if you go on there and you search any golf cart part accessory seat belts light kits mirrors anything they will come up you will see them 10 lol so we were curious because we have used them before they reached out to us we have used a couple of their items on here like the mirrors uh our cover a couple of the things we have are 10 lol and they seem pretty decent so when they offered to send us these to try them out i'm like their products seem pretty decent why not send them out to us so here they are uh, it's a pretty pretty complete kit here it's got good colored instructions and you only need a few tools you're going to need a socket wrench three quarter and five eighths socket and a couple nine sixteenths five eighths and three quarter inch wrench that's what you're going to need to put this together there are a couple options when you're putting this together too if you're looking at the directions and if you don't have the universal seat belt mounting thing like we do on our back seat it's going to mount to your back seat bracket or your front seat brackets on the back and it comes with the included shackles which will help attach it to that but for our sake we're going to put them to the universal seatbelt mounts on the bracket, which would probably be a stronger mount anyway. And But we'll show you where it would go if you didn't have the universal brackets on your back seat. But this is a four-seat kit, so your chances are you probably have it. Uh, and if you don't, don't worry, you can put it to that front thing. But they do sell the two-seat kits if you want those also, uh, in case you don't have the four seats. So let's get you over here, show you all the stuff that came with the kit and what you're going to need, and then we'll get installing this thing. All right, you're looking at all you're going to need to install this kit. You can see it looks like a lot, but you can see the four belts or the four belts, the four clamps, your two brackets and a bunch of the hardware. Uh, it does, like I said, it does have pretty good colored instructions. You can see them there. Uh, one thing I noticed in the kit so far, it tells you there's going to be zinc screws. There's going to be six of those and then matte black screws. There is no zinc screws. They're all black. So don't think you're without them. They're just all black. They're not zinc. You can see them here, all black, and even the, the seatbelt ones are black also. So everything's black, there is no zinc ones there that I can see, unless they coated the zinc, but in the picture, when it shows them, you can see they show them as zinc. They're all black, so don't worry, it's all there. So this is a pretty easy process. Once you get it all unpackaged, you're just gonna be in, putting these two brackets together with the shackles, right here in the middles. You'll see the two offset holes. That's what you'll use these shackles for. They're going to join it up like that, each one of them. And then, like I said, we'll get you a close-up shot over here of the, the brackets underneath. Our seat kit came with the universal bracket uh, holder installed. You can see them all right there. That's where we're going to mount ours to. But we'll get you guys down a little closer and you here in a minute, and we'll show you the where they want you to put them if you didn't have those brackets. So this is pretty much the complete kit. Let's get this started by putting these together. They're going to go together something like that with the shackle in the middle using the four bolts right there the smaller ones you're just going to put that together that's going to complete your bracket so let's do that first all right this is the part we wanted to point out where this is where if you didn't have the brackets on the back of your mount your seat you can put them right here with the shackles this is where they want you to mount them i mean it's a pretty strong spot so it's good if you didn't have these but like i said we're using these ours right here um, we'll show you once we put the bracket together how they would want you to put it here Just so you know if in case you're doing it that way So we want to make sure you guys are informed either way, but let's put this bracket together All right, we are down here ready to put these together one thing We noticed the bolts that we're going to be using to put that together. Can you guess what size that is? That's that size that's always missing that you should have a hundred of The good old 10 millimeter so the, the instructions don't tell you you're gonna need a 10 millimeter But you will for those and as I'm looking this over, it's it's pretty nice build construction. I mean, it's pretty solid. These here, you would think they're steel, they're aluminum. These are nice because they're lightweight, gonna be strong and weather resistant. Nice what lightweight aluminum. Even the even the brackets are it's thick, but it's nice lightweight aluminum. 
So we're liking that. So let's get ready to put these together here. Move some of this out of our way. We're just gonna do it right here on the back of the cart. You can see the two halves come together. It's gonna go together with the, the, the shackle. Look, did I jiggle you guys there? I probably jiggled you. Jiggle, jiggle. Okay, we're gonna put a, a washer and a bolt. Start our first one right there. Then a washer and one of the nuts. The nuts are 10 millimeter also. I'm sure my hands are blocking you guys a little. But I'll show you before I tighten it up. Another one, and you're just gonna continue doing that for all four of the holes. And then we're gonna tighten those down. Then we're gonna, this is a pretty, pretty simple, easy kit. So once you put this together and you mount it to the back, that's when you're going to then just bolt these down. And there's single bolts for each one. They got lock nuts. So I'm gonna continue doing this. And then we'll go to where we're gonna mount this down. So we'll keep at it. All right, we are tightening up the final two screws on here. Like I said, just put your wrench on there. You can use a ratchet like we started out doing, but you're gonna to wanna to tighten them with uh, maybe a wrench. These ratcheting wrenches, gotta flip it over. But uh, tighten down with this, saves you a lot of time. Same with this other one over here. And that's the final one. So we'll finish this up, go on to the next part of mounting this thing down. Then it's, then it's downhill from there. All done, bracket together. Like I said, nice lightweight because of the aluminum. So, so far pretty impressed. I don't even see a chip in the powder coat on this. And it looks, it looks great. So, so far so good. Let's keep going. All right, we took the back of this seat off so you guys can get a better view in here. Plus we could reach in a little better. But if you had this and you didn't have the universal mounts on your rear seat, this is how they want you to put this one on. You're gonna be installing it to these back seat posts right here with the included shackle, which would pinch it. It would pinch it to the seat and you could slide it either way. So you wanna measure your distance, make sure it's even, and then use the included hardware to mount it right here with, with the shackles. That's the, way in, that's the way they're showing you in the instructions. But like I said, since we do have these, Ours is just going to mount right there like that using the same hardware. That's how we're going to put that in. We're just going to take a washer on one side, put it through the hole, washer on the back side, and then put the nut on it. So we're going to do that for, oh my God, four holes over here. Yeah, four bolts. So we're going to do that, tighten these down, and then we can go to mount the, uh, the seat belt brackets and everything on here. You'll see these ones are going to mount from the center here in the front and the back. And then these will mount on your end holes so you can put the seatbelt on. So that's how that's going to mount. Let's get these rest of these in here and then uh, go to that next step. All right, guys, we got our bracket down here and tightened down with our one little thing with our brackets on the universal ones. They're spaced a little different, but we just tighten them down. You can see these aren't exactly straight, which don't matter because once you mount these, these move any way you want them anyway. So next thing we're going to do is mount our seat belts. They go on the outside holes here on both sides. They're just going to go in here like that with one package of hardware. We'll mount one package of hardware, we'll mount one belt and one receiver part of the belt. So that's what we're going to put here. I'll give you a close up over there as we go to install that one. All right, here's the spot, guys, that we're going to be working. You're just going to take your belt, get your make sure your lock washer's on there, get it started in there. And this has kind of a lip, which will rest up against the side here. That's what you're going to use to try to keep it straight. Put your lock nut on there. You can hold it. Or even get it started. There we go. And you're going to do that same thing on all four corners. What you want here? There's going to be one on the for the back seat. You guys can see that right here. We're going to do the same thing here with another piece of the hardware. Don't forget your lock washer again. Like that. Put the nut. So we're going to go around and put all these on. Then we'll go around and tighten them all. And then we'll be ready to go with those. 
All right, we got all four of our belt sections on here, the retractable belt sections. On your rear seat, you got to keep note that you're going to have to flip your seat back up to get to the seat. So you're going to want your belt up like this, which is a better angle when you're sitting in the seat and want to buckle it. It's a better angle anyway. So this is how this one's going to sit when it's tightened. The front ones can be a little at an angle. You just got to kind of dictate where you want it because that's already at the angle it's supposed to be. So we're going to mount them up here like this and make sure the seat clears. So that's what we're doing next. I think that's going to be, what is that? That's a 19... Yeah, we got a 19 millimeter. And what size wrench is that? Five and three, three quarters. quarters. Yeah. So, 18 millimeter, three quarters. That's going to allow you to tighten those down. So, just go around and tighten those all down. Make sure you've got the angle you want on that before you tighten them. going to take up some of the distance first. Oops, too fast. And there we go. That's how we're going to want them. So when you're sitting in the seat, remember the seat comes up this high, so it'll pull over you nicely and hook into your belt. So that's what we want. We're going to go around and do that for this other back one. Then we'll tighten these ones up at the angle we want also. And we'll be done with those. And then we'll go on to these belts, which you can see. Just mount on there like that. So you can easily put your belt into there. So let me go up and tighten the rest of these. All right, guys, we got these seat belts in and at the angle we need to clear our seat. Next, we're putting in the, the receiver part of the seat belt. So we're gonna mount them like this. So your button's on the outside, just like your car. So you can button in and push it out. So using another bag of the hardware with the lock washer, put that through and mount it. Using the same size sockets as you did with the other parts of the belts. And you'll do the same for these front ones, which go to the front seat. like that and you can adjust your angle on these also so it uh, will be up at the angle that's more comfortable to hook these up so that's what we're going to do again these are going to have to be up at an angle uh, these move a little bit more so you can be a little more flexible with these if they're in the way of the seat but we're going to tighten those down seems up there but when the seat thickness gets there and then this comes over at the right angle to hook up so with that nice positive click it comes right off works pretty good we're gonna roll around and do that with the rest of them Line them all up get our angles and that pretty much installs our kit I'll show you how cool they work after that all right now we have those installed and you can see that when the seat down they're right there where they're supposed to be he's gonna demonstrate putting one on I know you guys know how to seat belt, but you can see the angles are correct when you're using it. And that'll be the same for the both sides. And the same thing works for the front. Then again, one button press, release, just that one step of safety. So let's get these front ones finished up. Well, there we are. Safety in place. Wasn't too hard of a job to do. Uh, you just gotta pick how yours is mounting. Like I said, our rear seat had the mounts, the universal mounts. Uh, for our bracket which worked good for us but you can use how the instruction said it comes with the clamp there to clamp it on that back seat post and then uh, it'll mount just the same there but where, where we have it we like it just got to get your angles on the belt uh, so a big shout out to 10 lol for sending this out to us to try out seems like a pretty nice kit like i said the hardware was all aluminum it was all powder coated without any chips it had all the hardware we needed so complete kit and it, and it works great. So we got more coming from them. Uh, we got an underglow kit and a couple other things. So make sure you guys are stay tuned for that. 
Uh, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when we post those videos. And give us a thumbs up if you like this video, find it helpful at all. And please don't forget to subscribe. The analytics show, a lot of you are subscribed yet. Please just hit the button. Appreciate the support from the channel. All right, and don't forget, guys, I'll leave links to all this stuff down below in case you guys guys are interested in one of these. Uh, they're pretty affordable when you look at all the kits, and they do have many accessories. I'll leave a link to their webpage. If I can snag you guys a coupon code from them or a discount at all, I'll leave that down below, too, so you guys can get a discount on something that you're looking for for your cart. And uh, until next time, guys, try something new. Okay.